Okay, uh, I guess there's really no reason to avoid these. I need to practice my timing and, uh, need to practice my having coins. Yeah, and things like- this game actually seems to have harder, uh, counter-attacks than the other games. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm better at DS games and Game Boy Advance games, because that makes sense, right? I don't know, these things stop in their middle of their paths more frequently, and... I don't know, in Bowser's Inside Story, they actually added enemies, which I thought was pretty interesting, that, um, like, when you raise your hammer, quit coming towards it, but that's just gonna confuse people who don't, haven't played this enough to know about the hammer and its mechanics, I haven't played Bowser Inside Story enough to play what I'm talking about, so I'll be quiet for a brief period of time, or at least quiet about things that shouldn't really be relevant, but anyway, hooray, Luigi gets the first strike. Oh, uh, I forgot there were Bill Blasters in here. I have a lot less defense than in Paper Mario games, by which, I mean, I don't hate them. I mean, I don't know, I got like a weird kind of joy out of fighting them in Paper Mario games just because they were such terrible enemies. They took like eight turns to kill, and you really can't do enough damage in Paper Mario. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this pretty quickly, I think. Oops, Mario needs some health. I'm just going to, uh give him additional hit points, that works as well as going into my menu screen and getting mushroom. Yeah, that's actually a kind of big problem with me in Bowser's Inside Story. I kept dying a lot as, well, as, I think just mostly as Mario and Luigi. But the problem is I was very good at the game, I believe. I was getting most of the action commands, it's just I was never ever healing. See, so yeah, it was a waste of mushrooms, but I really am going to have more mushrooms than I'm going to have wanting to edit out deaths, probably. So anyway, let's see what's inside this star. I don't think I realized it the first time I played, but these guys are really creepy looking. Or, not creepy. I mean, I don't find them creepy, but I imagine the average person who is capable of finding things creepy would. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting star who just whistled for an alien bombardment. Perhaps. In the name of the Star Stage Bros, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. I love how Mario just does that. That's pretty great. There's a vivid green color that appears in the eye. Mm, yes, I didn't confirm. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent pursuit. This is such a weird game. Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi sighting confirmed! Surgeon Sarsage, change of mission objectives, obtain autograph stat. Hmm, I see. Incredible to think Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of some vile enemy. Her voice must be recovered, no matter what it takes. Priority one, Surgeon Starshade. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well, we Starshade bros will lead you the secret of bros action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, special bros action uh, training shall commence immediately. Are you ready to undergo training? Sure. Yeah, this is, I don't know, maybe partners in time did it, but most other inside stories are like, okay, you can do this now, have fun. Uh, okay, so, I really like this system better than partners in time, than Bowser's inside story where you individually have A and B, but I can deal with the fact that they changed it up to make it more interesting, but yes, jumping synergy, no thank you. I hate it when things like that have, uh, the first option be, uh, say things again because if I'm skipping through it, I tend to hit it two or three times before finally waiting when it shows up again. But anyway, if you use your item, you can use your never come over there. L button to use your spin jump. Okay. Yeah, give me control anytime. I like the noises they make for these two. See, you ride piggyback over the beaver. No. Alright. Whoops. I like how it has to do that instead of just letting you jump back out, but anyway. Excellent. D uh, boys, the actions are used here. Many are the bros' actions. Well, a lot of bros' actions. More actions only bros like you can perform. Training complete. Ready to return? Yes. 
It is not overly complex. Okay, good. Yep. Pretty simple training course here. The hard part comes when you have to, like, explore the entire fields for coins. I don't think just going through this training is really enough to get you uh, all the coins required by Mr. Beanie. I think actually get these abilities, these moves, give you the ability to go find them. And I'm used to spin jump being A and more mobility in the spin jump formation, but anyway. Hmm, very incredible. Master Mario, Master Luigi, you two really are super girls. I salute you. I really are the high jump and spin jump. Master Mario. So those guys are pretty great. Pretty great characters just based on their weird faces, I think. Okay, can I go down here for fun and profit? Yes, I can. Okay, so, uh, more turn-based battling. This really, these battles really don't take all that long, and most of the time, there are, they provide a pretty constant stream of new enemies for me to talk about their patterns and stuff, so I really don't think I'm gonna have a problem with running out of commentary here. I mean, do I ever really have a problem with running out of commentary? Most of the time, I just start rambling about irrelevant things, and I try to stop from doing that, but... I don't think I ever have a problem just not knowing what to say. Generally, I don't know what to say relevant to the game, but they're not going to be just me being like, oh, I should commentate more. But anyway, um, yep, see, that battle is went through without me even saying a thing about the battle. Uh, I'll go up badge points because those are totally useful right now, right? Oh no. And I keep calling, I don't even know what I call things. I, I don't even know. I always like hitting buttons like that by basically not doing what you're supposed to. That should do the bros attack as the intro. It's actually kind of weird it uses Mario. Er, it's not really weird because Mario was on the bottom, but whatever. So anyway, these I like how bullet bills are just projectiles instead of uh, actual enemies in this game. I mean, uh, if you ever tried playing a Paper Mario game after playing this, I mean, I'd imagine I'd kind of didn't play very much of Super Mario RPG because I lost at the first Croco fight and got angry at it and never played it again. Uh, but, uh, I cannot imagine playing a standard turn-based RPG would, uh, I, yeah, I keep trying to walk. All you can do is sort of spin around here. You can walk in at least Bowser's Inside Story, which I'm more familiar with, possibly, uh, Partner's Inside Story. But, um, yeah, I was totally talking about something and then didn't go off on a tangent that got me confused and not knowing what I was talking about. Ah, how do I get back up? It's a mystery to everyone. Uh, okay, I'm seriously confused now. Was I supposed to not leave this area yet, or... Well, I wouldn't say at all, but... Or until I find the other exit to the area I'm supposed to be at. Anyway, Mario seems to have more power than Luigi, huh? Yeah, what I was saying was probably, I think, after playing this, playing regular turn-based RPGs is going to be horribly slow and boring, and, well, maybe not boring, but slow comparatively. I really don't like RPGs with unnecessary, um, waiting for text to scroll and stuff. Or, I like them okay, but they're boring and unnecessary men men menu navigation and... Basically, I don't know, last time I tried playing Pokemon, I was too lazy to buy Platinum and was playing, uh, what's it called, and what's it called, and got angry at how slow the freaking text was, and surfing, but that's besides the point. But apparently Platinum fixes that, so whatever. And I'm planning on getting that right before Heart Gold and Heart Silver come out in the US, because I figure I would like to get all hyped up about that and then have them actually come out recently and so I'm sort of avoiding Pokemon games until then, but whatever.